It's week 18 of the NFL, and we'll keep our eye on A.J. Terrell, who has put together 32 tackles this season from his cornerback spot. It's the Falcons and the Panthers. All that and more coming up next. And we welcome her. coming up next. And we welcome our viewers inside the place that the folks around here like to call the vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers. Brandon going alongside my partner, Charles Davis. Uh, CD, you're an old school guy, and I know you've got to love our matchup here. Two teams that get after it in the old-fashioned way, on the ground. I love it. You know I love that type of football. You've known me for a while now. We've got the number one and number two rushing offense in the entire NFL matching up. Now, don't be fooled. Both of these teams can and will throw the ball in this one. They certainly love playing ball in this one. They certainly love playing that game of field position, working between the tackles, chewing up time of possession. And they've each got a main man who's among the best in the league at toting the rock. go from uptown Charlotte and he opts to not bring this one out the first drive will start at the 25 so here are the Panthers now for their opening drive and a look here now at their fourth year quarterback and when you watch Corral play you have to be impressed with just how fearless he is in any situation excellent in the pocket accurate ball gets out of his hands quickly he also can break out and create big plays as well often with his legs a And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll break him down at the 39. They'll take that and plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. And that one will go for 13 yards. It's time for the defender to react. Even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL, Still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. 23 yards on the similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. And hold on here. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's right, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second. As this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the Coming up, this is third down. On third down, Corral. And this is going to be caught? No, they say it's incomplete. But they took the shot, partner. When this offense looked back at this drive and think to themselves, if we'd gotten six, we'd be in a better spot. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Leading them out from Texas A&M at quarterback Kellen Mond. And when Kellen Mond left College Station, he held most of Texas A&M's passing records, total yards, passing yards, touchdowns, you name it. And then he went to the NFL draft in 2021 on the heels of being the 2021 Senior Bowl MVP. And the Vikings took him in the third. Mond looks to throw on first down, eluding the pressure right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Second and two now from the 33. Mond now off a of play action. 
Man open left side is Brown. And he stopped after a game of one. Terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. Yeah, they only allowed 13 points, and you can pull all 32 coaches, and I guarantee you they'd say, we'll take that every single week. But let me think about that for a second. Maybe there'd be one, one contrarian that would say, give me 10. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. These two teams, they met in Atlanta earlier in the year with the Falcons winning that game. So a win here in Charlotte would give them the season sweep. These two teams, they met in Atlanta earlier in the year with the Falcons winning that game. So a win here in Charlotte would give them the season sweep. Damn. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's got some space here. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. But earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. You know, Charles, season winding down, time to maybe look ahead to the offseason. What do you see these guys going after either in the draft or free agency? Well, with the season that they're having, just about into the league to try and find a spot because I think this team is looking for a new quarterback. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they will finally get him down, but not before he takes us to the Falcons' 16-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, you know, most quarterbacks, when you talk about their big playability, you talk about the arm, but this, an absolutely huge play with a leg. In order to make the decision to keep it and run, and how about him looking up and seeing the C's part for him once he got past the line of scrimmage. My first thought, I think he can go all the way, and I'm trying not to take over your call on this play, partner. They had the huge... The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Up the gut, McCaffrey. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Just from the gun, Corral. Just keeping the play alive. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Prime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And his kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point and take it. Falcons offense making their way onto the field. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. And you can see, as many of you already know, they have clinched the NFC South, but as it stands... And that's a good thing for them, because coming out of your division, getting to the playoffs with an opportunity to host to start the playoffs, that's a pretty good way to get things going. Whoever came out of this division, we knew that they were going to be playoff ready, and this team... ...for a gain of six, and it's second down. They go play action here. Mon. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Mond out of the shotgun. Into the hands of London. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. You can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who are liable to take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. Third down from the gun, it's Mon. Open man is Kyle Pitts, is tight end. And a good tackle there right around the 30, stops him short of the first down. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Kuhn knocks this one through the post, and they bump the lead up to four now. On field goal, and when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. Three points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Corral on second down. Steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll take and live another down. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be fourth down over. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to segue the best way to do it, touchdowns. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. Mon looks to throw. Got his man. It's London. And he is going to have a Falcons first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the play fake, Mon To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the... Here's Mon. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. On the move past the 40. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 34-yard line. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space. Now it's first and 10 at the 34. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second. Once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. For four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Ready? Algier will try to pick it up. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. I go with the fresh legs, able to push forward, pick up that first. First and 10, it's Patterson. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 20. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one. Huh? From the gun, a give to Connor. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers for the carrier with the bandit. They'll run for it with Algier. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. 
It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. On the counter, it's Connor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the... ...enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. From the gun, here's Mod. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple player game. Third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it. He just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution. Their nickel defense, that fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield. and cut So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every... There he goes, right side. The 30. 10. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey with his 13th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they have water break and get on out there and play? All square now at 13-all as he sends this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. That's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not all now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready. We'll see. On second, here's Algier. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. His own space and break a tackle along the way. So from the 36 now, first and 10. I'm going to throw it. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. That's a well thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both down. Things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. On first and 10, it's Algier. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Second and four. Now Mon. Looking there for Pitts, but intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Panthers are going to take over our line. The first down throw here for Corral. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. So many times we talk about the defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to go third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him. Week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy, but the medical staff is going to have to take a look here. And we'll step aside. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. A lot of times it's that first read, and that one's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Back to the air, Mon. This will be caught by Brown. They get seven out of that, so they're left with it. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. He'll drop to throw. 
Throw left side complete. That's Patterson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going down. Mon to the air on first and ten. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play that A lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up in incomplete. He came through well with a nice pass breakup there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will do it for this first half. That game all tied up as they do battle with the visiting Raiders. Next, the look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Falcons. And they've had plenty of success throwing the football so far this afternoon, as they're on pace to throw for over 300 yards if their form holds. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half, as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. Notice that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage. It sets up the pass game really well for them, too. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They run behind center with Cotter. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. 91 yards with big season continues here. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're now looking for a big play downfield. Come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll drop the throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. Second and ten. Mon got a man. It's Brown. They do get a couple, but they'll be left standing really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And he bats it away, and it falls down. And comes. Did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, okay, first half is there, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score second half. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he will be brought down at about the 43 yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. And Corral will throw it. He's going to look deep for more. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Richie Graham. And the Falcons are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. And I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that. Last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Advice of Mr. Davis. Mon throwing on second down. 
forced out to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that. On the move on first down. Connor up the middle. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard. Front was on that play from the get-go. And everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line. And they hold it to just a yard. Mons throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And this winds up a gain of four to the four. Out of the gun now on third down. Well, Mons fumbles it. And it's picked up by the Panthers. The 20, 10, 5. And he takes it into the end zone. It's a fumble. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice play. Nine yards on first down. Where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards. He figured up to the nine yard run on the previous play. Getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was. And now it's third down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. On the field now as he goes back to the bench after that miss. They start the drive with Connor. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Offensive lineman low. Hey, Chris, Chris, Chris. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 122 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Mon looks to throw. This is to Pitts on the quick slant. And the tackle. On second down, Connor looking for space. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Give to Algier from the shotgun. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Six, now second and four. On the handoff, Connor. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Four yards. On the counter, it's Connor. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now. And that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Panthers now down 23-20, 2-13 remaining. A chance to end this season with a bang as they come up with a first and 10. There's Tremble, the tight end. And this will be a gain of as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Corral. 
He's going to let it fly. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Yeah, right now the second seed. First seed is the Seahawks. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Uh, we so often think of these kickers as automatic at any distance, and it's just not the case because when you start talking about 50-plus yards, it's still a tough one to connect on. This one ends up no good, and that should put to rest any chance. Of this yeah, he didn't get it, did he? <laughs> Kneel down now. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. Touchdown.